you want me to start now or uh, no i'm gonna get started so you, you i'll start okay Okay, welcome everybody. Um, I'm just going to give participants a couple minutes just to come on as everybody's coming in. Um, my name is Jamie Jones. I'm the president of Whirlaway Travel, and we're here with Kathy DiVincenzo from AMA Waterways. So again, let's just give it a couple minutes to get started. Okay, so we're going to get started now and then um, as, as people come in that's great. So welcome to another one, another one of our wonderful evening webinar series. I'm really excited about tonight um, for a couple of reasons. So the first is that we're going to talk about one of the best ways to explore Europe and that is by river cruise. Um, what could be better than unpacking one time and being able to walk freely on and off a small ship that only holds, you know, 140 or so passengers. You don't have to wait in line to get on or off. You can just, you know, pop on, pop off, you know, if you forget something in your room, you don't have to wait in a long queue. And, um, and you get to see the most amazing villages and cities in Europe. It's like a floating hotel on the riverways of Europe. Um, to give you an idea of how great it is and how wonderful it is just to be able to walk on and walk off, I have to tell you a funny story about an experience that I had in France quite a few years ago. So we were, we were cruising and my husband decided to go out with a couple friends and go to a French nightclub. And because river cruising is so wonderful and the ships stay in port, you know, until the wee hours of the evening, he made it home or made it back to the ship in time for before the ship set sail. But he was able to experience a French nightclub in a little village that, you know, the normal traveler would never be able to experience. Apparently there's stories about it, but I, I don't want to know anymore. Um, one of my favorite things to do in Europe is even though you're getting on and off and seeing these really cool places is also to be able to go down the Rhine River on the castles along the Rhine and sip a hot toddy under a blanket on the top deck and just watch the castles everywhere you look there's castles on either side of the river so it's just a really, really great way to see Europe and um, it's a it's a relaxed way to see Europe. Right now is a is a wonderful time to plan for 2021 and 2022. Um, we're seeing high demand for travel. Um, with everybody that had to get reaccommodated from this year, you know, they've already planned for 2021 and 2022. We just think is going to be crazy busy. So um, we're really excited to have Kathy talk about Ama Waterways. Um, I want to welcome, you know, all of our clients here. You you may see some of your faces on some slides later, so make sure to stay tuned. And you know, normally with our webinars, we've we've gone over some really good information, but tonight we have some really incredible offers at the end. So please stick with us through it. Um, this is going to be a, a really intense webinar, so grab your favorite cocktail and settle in for a wonderful evening, Kathy. Well, thank you so much for having me. And I say welcome to everyone and thank you for welcoming me into your homes. I'm gonna to explain to you why AMA Waterways is the highest rated luxury brand of river cruising, the things that we do differently than our competitors and our partnership with World Away Travel and all of the wonderful things that we're gonna offer as a result of you participating this evening. So we're gonna start with my very favorite way to start to put you in the mood to cruise.
Well, I hope that put you in the mood. Oceans take you to countries and rivers take you through them. So when you're on the rivers, it's more of a cultural immersion. And what we do is we plan to sail at night. And when you wake up in the port in the morning, it's breakfast at seven to nine, tour in the morning, you'll come back to the ship for lunch. The ship might move during your lunch. Um, and then you'll have your afternoon tour. But the important thing is we park right in the heart of the downtown. We have the right size ship on the right size river. So it's easy on, easy off. So when you come back from your afternoon tour, you can pretty much put your shopping and things that you've already purchased in your cabin and go right back into the town. I like to hit the museums and the art galleries and some restaurants and bars, and then you're back to the ship for happy hour. So because we have the right size ship on the right size river, we can maximize your time. But a little bit of a fun fact is the ships are originally pulled by ropes and donkeys, and we've paved those pathways. Those are now our bike paths. We like to say passion, purpose, and innovation are qualities that make Ama Waterway so special. And that comes from our leadership. Rudy, our president and CEO, ironically started another company called Viking and another company called Uniworld, and he tweaked a third company called Avalon, and he's considered the father of modern day river cruising. His beautiful wife, Christine, started in travel in Dresden, Germany, and when the wall fell, she went to California and ended up as a vice president of Viking, and that's where the love story with she and Rudy started. And Gary's family owned a company called Brendan Vacations. So chances are, if you went to see my friends at Whirl Away Travel and asked for Ireland, they would have offered a Brendan vacation. Gary's dad started the, that company when he came from Ireland many years ago. He sold it in 2002 to get the money to start AMA. So we're a very hands-on family-owned company. And Rudy is an architect and a naval engineer by trade. And he wanted to create our ships differently. So when he did, he created something called a shallow draft. That means we can sail in shallow water when our competitors can't. That was really never a big thing until two years ago when there was a 105-year drought in Europe. We were the only river cruise company that made all of our sailings. So again, our ships are different and it all comes from Rudy, our president and our owner and our CEO. Some other things that he did is we have two different size ships. So this particular one is one of our long ships. It has all different levels of sun and shade, a running track, a heated pool with a swim up pool bar. Then the deck drops down safely about four feet and you can sit outside in country club casual seating and watch the scenery go by. Our ships have a whole lot of bells and whistles that I'm gonna go over through the whole presentation. Now, something that I need to point out that's really important as well is AMA Waterways is a 100% debt-free company. Whenever we built a ship, we paid cash for it. So in this day and age, when things um, are changing and ever evolving, just keep in mind that AMA is a very solvent and debt-free company. We have three ships coming out next year. All three are 100% paid for. They're the AMA Siena, the AMA Lucia, and the AMA Dahlia, who will be in Egypt. Where are we? Well, we have our second most popular itinerary in Portugal. We have two ships there. This year we have three ships in France. We do Paris and Normandy, Bordeaux and Provence. Next year we're moving to our other ships to France. And one is the Amadante in Northern France. And we've got a really great surprise for you um, about our, our French itineraries. And we are moving the award-winning Ama Christina to um, the south of France, and we're moving the Amicello in the Rhone and the Saone. And why do we have our four small ships in France? Well, the French rivers are more shallow and more narrow. So we put our 363 feet ships there because they can get into the little ports. If you put too big a ship on a French river, river, it can't turn around. So we can park right in the downtown of Paris and all these other great cities in France. Picture yourself having this wonderful dinner, wine and getting off the ship and seeing the Eiffel Tower lit up or walking down the Champs-Élysées. We can do that because our ships are the right size ships on the right size river. So it's only a little bit of a walk. Our competitors who put long ships in France have to bus you into these great ports. So again, really important things. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Then we start in Amsterdam at the top of the Rhine. We follow the Rhine all the way down to the Rhine main canal. 
that connects with the Danube and you go as far south as Georgiou, which is just outside of Istanbul. We do Vietnam and Cambodia. And in a Philadelphia winter, when it's nice and cold here, it's nice and warm in Vietnam. Then we're going to do Egypt starting in September of 2021. The ship is under construction right now and will be ready to sail in September. It's actually going to be done in December of 2020. Our most popular itinerary is Africa. Now, something else that we're really proud of is we really believe in sustainable tourism and minimizing our carbon footprint. So with that, we have some fuel efficient engines and micro um, filtration systems and LED lighting and all kinds of things that gave us the award for being the most green river cruise company. 18 of our ships in Europe just won that award. The Ama Cristina won the number one green ship in the world. So not only are we a good family owned company, but we're also stewards of our environment. So this is an example of the lounges on our ship. Do you know what the most popular thing is in our lounges? It's a barista machine, fresh round coffee 24 seven. We have tea, hot chocolate, all the seating is done in country club casual. So it's conducive to making new friends. Every night there's a show here in the lounge that's indigenous to the destination. Then we have a musician who will play the night away and everybody gets up and dances and has a really great time. But one question I get asked and I do these presentations all over is do you have food anywhere else on your ship? Well, my answer is, well, in our restaurant and our other restaurant, but we always have food here in the lounge. So what we do is I get up in the morning to run about six o'clock. Right about that time, we'll have a continental breakfast out. Then we'll sw switch to soup and sandwiches. Then we'll have tapas of the day from the bar. Then we'll have hors d'oeuvres at happy hour. And later on in the evening, we will have a, a light buffet. So this is where the action happens on our ship. Another part of this area is the bar area. So we like to say we're inclusive, but not all inclusive. And what that means is Christine wants to make it fair for those people that don't drink. So when you're talking to my friends at World Away Travel and they're comparing us with an all-inclusive river cruise company, the pricing for an all-inclusive river cruise company is normally about $1,000 more a person than we are. But what we do is to make it fair, we'll do champagne at breakfast, beer and wine at lunch and dinner, no extra charge for fine wine. Then the whole hour before dinner is an menued open bar happy hour. Drinks are then about $5 a mixed drink, $3.80 for a beer. If you had five drinks a day, every day for a week, that's $175. So when you sit down with my friends at World Away Travel and they price us and everyone else, they're gonna show you what's included. And what I ask you to do is look at all the inclusions and weigh out what's best for you. And that will give you your best decision for your vacation. Then there's a library. I like to duck in here and do a quick crossword puzzle. There's fireplaces that are nice and cozy, books and games then the bulk of our ships are our twin balcony ships. These are 443 feet long and they are, this, they are long ships. Everyone's long ships are the same size. We just put a lot less people in a lot bigger cabins. These range from 210 to 235 square feet with a real balcony and a French balcony in the sunroom. So why is it important that I'm telling you it has a real balcony? Well, we have some competitors with long ships that have a window that goes down it's not a traditional balcony, it's a window that goes down. So again, little things will impact your vacation. So again, things to think about when you're selecting a cruise and a ship and different ports. And we do have some ships that have connecting cabins and triples and quads. Now with this triple, that is a chair that turns into a bed. The intention is a child that's four to 17 or a very tiny adult. Now you're looking at that picture and you're seeing those plastic water bottles and saying, oh, she just said they were green. Well, we started sailing on July 5th and we haven't had an opportunity to get a film crew over to the ships to take new pictures. When we start, started sailing on July 5th, we started using biodegradable bottles that are sort of like a child's juice box. So you're gonna get unlimited water in the cabins, in the fridge, and you're gonna get unlimited water on all of your tours. Why is that important? 
Well, some of our competitors don't include water and I've seen charges up to $8 a bottle. So again, these are important things to think about when you're deciding us versus someone else. And I can't emphasize the professionalism of the folks at Whirl Away. So they'll be able to compare us and everybody else very easily. Now we do have sweets. Sweets are very sought after. They go first. Now with the suite on the um, twin balcony ships, they hold up to four people. On our smaller French balcony ships, they hold two people. This particular one is 350 square feet with a twin balcony. On the French balcony ships, they're 255 square feet. With a suite, you get a butler and you'll get champagne in the room, flowers, fruit basket. And since we started sailing um, on July 5th, we started including in-room dining um, and that's really going over well. And again, people like to go out on the balconies or sit with the French balconies open and have their in-room dining. Now we do have a flat screen in every cabin. Do you know we spend more money on the internet than we do on fuel? It's true. When people go on their tours and they come back and they want to load their pictures onto Facebook and other social media. So we noticed when that was happening that our bandwidth was dropping. Every year the ships go into dry dock for January, February, and March and get refurbished. So while they were in dry dock a few years ago, we tweaked the internet up to 4G and we connected with our own towers the following year. So you're going to get first run movies, regular TV, music, and the internet in your cabin at no extra charge. I again got spoiled working for AMA for many years and I was on an ocean cruise last year. And when I saw that they were charging $1.55 a minute for the internet, I thought, wow, I put my laptop in the safe. Husband was thrilled that I finally stopped working. But again, it's really important to know that all of these things are gonna be included. And I'm gonna mention included many times. Now we do have a spa and a beauty salon on every ship. You'll make your reservations on board. World Away Travel belongs to a wonderful organization called Signature Travel. There are many dates that Signature Travel has with AMA Waterways where you get $150 onboard credit just because World Away Travel belongs to Signature. So Jamie and her team can quickly identify those dates so that if you were to get that, you could use it for the beauty salon, the spa, the gift shop, tipping. So there's a whole lot of things that you can use um, that onboard credit for, but it, the services are available to you. Now we do have a gym on every ship and we're into physical fitness. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want on our ships. This is just a picture of one of our gyms. What you can't see is many of the gyms have a kinesis machine, which essentially is a fancy Bowflex. So we do, um, in the vein of physical fitness, we do have a wellness instructor on every ship except for the two in Portugal. We start every day with champagne yoga at 7 a.m. The classes go in half an hour intervals. You can pick up whatever you want. If it's really great weather, chances are the classes will be on the sun deck or they might be in the um, panoramic lounge. You'll be identified um, where the, the class is by your AMA Cruiser app or in paper form in your cabin. We're gonna have all kinds of things to choose from, from core strengthening and circuit training. We'll also have discussions uh, that are gonna focus on healthy eating and relaxation techniques. And guess what? There's no charge for this. It's absolutely included. Now, if you haven't had dinner, I apologize. This is an example of our cuisine on board. It's called Chien de Rotisserie. It's the French equivalent of a Michelin chef. Everything is brought on farm to table every single day. About four o'clock in the morning, you're gonna smell these wonderful pastries wafting down the hall. It's all made fresh. Even our ice cream is made every day on board. We can do any dietary restriction whatsoever. You just let the folks at Whirl Away know, they'll put it in your reservation. And when you come on board, our chef will meet with you. And every morning, our maitre d' will give you a customized menu so that you can make your selections. The only thing we can't do, and I apologize to our Jewish friends, is we can't do kosher. 
Our kitchen is too small for two fridges, two stoves, and two dishwashers. We can do anything else, but we can't do kosher. Our main dining room um, now will have menu service. We've always had menu service for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And Rudy thinks if you want to be a five-star product, you should not have a buffet. Everything should be a la carte. We um, are in the process of adding show kitchens to our ships. Um, I don't have a timeline of when they will be added. So we are um, going to take the area that used to have a buffet and make it into a show kitchen. But the important thing is that we are going to have and always have had menu service for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The long ships have wine nooks on the outside. They hold up to 12 people. They're great for parties, anniversaries, birthdays. There's no extra charge. They're first come, first serve. And they'll have the same menu as in the dining room. Then we have a chef's table on our ships. And um, the main ships have 24 every night. The Ama Magna, which is our newest and most um, large river cruise ship in the world, will have 36. You make your reservation on board. The chef does a multi-course wine pair dinner behind glass, so it's very pristine. Everybody is guaranteed at least one seating here at the chef's table. It is an event. So honestly, if you can get another reservation in here, still no extra charge. We have a competitor, one of our all-inclusive competitors that charges $150 a person for this. So this is one of those added amenities that I spoke of earlier that we're including for you. So again, add up everything and decide what's best for you. Now, this is something, again, that's very important. We offer a tour in the morning and a tour in the afternoon. We usually put 20 on it. And the main tour of the morning and the afternoon is going to come in fast, medium, gentle walkers, and late risers. Now, our competitors all charge for the afternoon tour. These tours range for, from at least $100 a person a day. So if you were on somebody else and had to pay for that tour every day, it's $700. So again, you're seeing where things add up. So besides our main tour of the morning and the afternoon, we're going to offer you hiking and biking tours, and we're gonna offer you special edition tours. I've gone to cooking schools. I've gone to a castle where the vintner was a chocolatier and owned the castle, and it's a wonder I ever left. I've gone truffle hunting. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can choose from morning and afternoon that are included. Now, I mentioned we usually put 20 on a tour. Since we started sailing um, in this COVID environment, we went down to six um, so that everyone could socially distance. So whatever the EU guidelines are, we will conform to them. So we just want everyone to sail safely. So something we're going to talk about besides the regular um, offerings that we have is a special essence of Burgundy and Provence cruise that World Away Travel is offering. It's a seven night cruise from chalon sur saone to Arles. This is my very favorite part of Europe and I never hide it. I'm not supposed to have a favorite, but I love this because it's got so much of a Roman influence. The Romans conquered this area in 004. So you're going to see things like um, a, a mini Colosseum, an amphitheater. You're going to see all kinds of, of different influences. Then all these things were made with rudimentary tools. There's also a Gaelic um, influence because the Sone River, which is um, part of this itinerary, is a Gaelic word that means river goddess. And there's also an Italian influence. Um, so you're going to see the Swiss, the Italian, and uh, the Gaelic influences in this area. This has a pre-cruise in Geneva and a post-cruise in Barcelona. Both are completely optional. And again, I mentioned the Romanesque architecture, the medieval towns, the abbeys and the monasteries. This area is known for its Bourgelais, its Cote de Rhone and Burgundy wines. And then um, you're gonna see bigger cities on the Rhone and on the Saone, you're gonna see some quaint little cities and beautiful countrysides. So with Whirl Away, they have this fantastic group with us in September of 2022. Jamie, would you like to talk about this? 
Yes, thank you. So I'm really excited to present this. Um, we have an exclusive group with AMA Waterways and our current offer is um, it's $400 off per person. Plus we are throwing in free gratuities that are valued at $157 per person for anything that is deposited by the end of November. Um, the deposit is $475 per person and there are no additional payments until 2022. Um, this is a great way if you have a group of friends getting together that, that wanna travel, um, that can see a really amazing part of, of France. And I, I will say that, you know, the ship is one of the smaller ships. It's one of the, one of the original ships, but what I love about it is it actually docks in Arles. And when I was in France on another river cruise line, we actually had to take a bus into Arles. And there's really, really wonderful shopping in Arles. And I was so disappointed because we had to rush back to find where the bus was so that we could make sure that we made it back to the ship in time. So it really kind of ruined our, our day and our experience there. So the fact that the ship can, can dock in Arles and it's just so easy, just makes it so much better. Um, we have quite a few different cabin categories held and prices start at just $38.99 per person. Wow, that's a great price. And are we going to talk about our incentives later or are we going to mention it now? We can we can go on. Um, go to the next slide for me. Okay. So we also have a very rare opportunity for solo travelers. So one of the biggest things that we always struggle with is finding a, you know, finding something for, for solo travelers where they don't have to pay for two people on a river cruise because everything is sold as double occupancy. Um, AMA actually has two cabins on the Amicello that are exclusively for solo travelers. And our single cabins that we have in our group space uh, start at 4874. Um, we have we have two single cabins available and we, we might be able to squeeze another one in there if possible. Again, it's only 475 deposit. You still get the prepaid gratuities if deposited by the end of November. And again, no additional payments until 2022. And you do have a choice of cabin categories if you don't want one of the singles. You can go to the next one because it's one of my favorite slides. And these are some of my favorite clients um, enjoying a river cruise last year on Castles Along the Rhine. So I hope you guys are watching and you can go on to the next one. Okay. Um, so really quickly, you know, I just want to cover why book travel for 2022 now. So the first thing is, is travel is going, it's expected to be just crazy demand um, and return to pre-COVID levels. So everybody who is going nuts right now, being locked up, I know I'm going crazy being locked up in my house with my two kids. I would love to get on a river cruise right now and just go somewhere besides my house. Um, availability will be tight and prices will increase. So we're seeing really great value now, but as the demand goes, the, the availability is gonna go and prices are gonna increase. Um, so securing your space ahead of time and then not having to worry about a payment until 2022 is really the best way to go. Um, Kathy's gonna talk about some added bonuses for, for river cruising um, planning with AMA in general. But one of those bonuses is, is that anybody who books a, our trip in the next two weeks also gets an additional $100 off. Um, so the total cabin value is, is over $1,300 um, off what you would get, including the prepaid gratuities are $400 off and then an additional $100 off per person. Um, so it's, it's pretty much unheard of. Uh, tr planning for travel in 2022 is, is pretty low risk. Um, you know, we're a year, two years out from that, um, this, the sailing, so we should be good. And then one thing that I'm re reminded all the time, um, from Sarah, my colleague at World Away is that planning travel equals happiness. Um, there are studies that show that having planning travel and anticipating travel makes us happier overall. 
I know that for a fact because I have wanted to plan travel um, and I have nothing planned except for my trip next week. Um, but I haven't had anything planned and I'm usually, usually traveling all year round and it has been a little bit depressing because I haven't had anything to look forward to. And the things that I have had to look forward to have gotten canceled. So um, I, I'm totally all for planning for 2022 because I think that it's going to be a go and we can get back into the world and we might see it in a little different light, but we're going to be able to, to travel. And then Kathy, I'm going to leave it to you. <laughs> okay. And then I hope we're traveling as soon as the end of December. So I, I'm looking even more positive than you, but one of the great pre-cruises that you can choose from is Geneva, Switzerland. It's no, very um, well known for its high-end shops and its chocolate and its Italian flair. And also it's got the cleanest lake in the world. Did you know that? I had no idea. <laughs> I did not either. And Anse France is known for its Dijon mustard. But if you looked at this picture, you would almost think you were in Venice. That's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? So this is one of the optional tours that they can add on. And then you'll also visit the Shalon Castle on this tour. So again, there's some great spots to see. And again, it does have that nice Italian influence in this part of Switzerland. And this whole area is a dichotomy of culture and I absolutely love it. And as you had mentioned, we're gonna do um, the sailing on the Amicello. It's one of our French balcony ships. It has a whirlpool putting greens and our French balcony, it maxes out at 144 people, has a beautiful lounge and a chef's table and a gym. So here is the itinerary. So you'll fly into Geneva or if they um, elect to do some different kind of flight schedule, because your agents are so well versed, they can easily do this but they will board the ship in chalon sorson and sail all the way south to Arles. And again, I'm gonna go over some of the pictures of this, um, the, the highlights on this itinerary. And I'm gonna tell you right now that Arles is my favorite along with Avignon and Lyon, but there are so many great spots to see. I could go on and on about this itinerary forever. So we have a lot more of a presentation, so we're gonna to have to cut it a little short. But nonetheless, Chalon Sorson is a great walking city. It's known for this, this hospital that's no longer a hospital, it's a museum. But again, it's part of our walking tour and just one of the most picturesque areas of the world. Lyon, as I had mentioned, is one of my favorite cities. And again, it's it's got some ancient Roman ruins in it. It's like a mini Parthenon. Um, one side is really old and the other side is very new. It's connected by bridges. And there is this main street that has shops equivalent to those on the Champs-Élysées. So you're gonna see modern, then old and great shopping. And I have some other pictures because it's, and again, this is one of the connecting bridges, um, beautiful churches. It's known for its gastronomy, and it's also known for its wine and cheese tasting. So um, there's so many different things that you can picture in this great um, area. Then we're going to um, talk about Avignon. They moved the papacy here to Avignon for 100 years. Again, it's known for its wine and cheese, but it's mainly known for this bridge. The bridge is half-built bridge. And when you were on this itinerary, did you go dance on the bridge? Um, we did not dance on the bridge. We had dinner in the in the, in, in the castle thing. <laughs> okay. It, really the legend is that if you go and dance on the end of the bridge, your love will last forever. So I, I should have done that then. <laughs> I should have done it. I dragged my poor husband on the bridge and he reluctantly danced. We had a lot of fun. But um, the, the castle is actually was built for the Pope because mm -hmm. they put the papacy here for a hundred years. But it was so neat because you walk through all these cobblestone streets and they had all these artists set up throughout the town and they were selling their paintings and, and 
just walking from stand to stand and grabbing all different kinds of foods. It was one of my favorite things. But what I really loved was we were able to go into the pape, into the Pope's cell where he lived. And, and again, just such a dichotomy of culture. And our ship parks are right here. So again, having the right size ship on the right size river, you're able to go back and forth to the ship and walk right into town. And um, St. Apollinaris's Cathedral will be in balance. And there's cathedrals all over this area. And I don't know if you noticed this when you were on the itinerary, but I had to ask, a lot of these churches have no pews left. They're beautiful stone churches. So I asked them, um, and it was church after church, and they had to burn them to stay warm during the war. But each one of them is remarkably intact and just beautiful in their own right. Um, you're going to be um, going to the Chateau de Cochez, and this is like a storybook castle. It was the home of the Duke of Burgundy, and it's a medieval fortress. So again, one of those stops that you just absolutely have to see. Tournou, and I have a French colleague who taught me how to say all of these French words correct, so I wouldn't sound like I was speaking Pennsylvania French. So um, Tournou is one of their gastronomic capitals. And there's a famous fountain here that if you throw your coins in, it's like the Trevi Fountain that you'll come back. And we do have some great um, biking tours. And again, this is a Roman cathedral. You're gonna pass through all kinds of great fields and countrysides and vineyards. And again, the Burgundies and the Bourgeois and the Cote de Rhone wines are all famous in this area. Um, the Chateau Cormatin was a castle built in the 17th century. It's known for its ornate apartments. And again, one of the great stops that you'll visit on this itinerary, Macon. And again, thank you, Sebastian, for teaching me to pronounce it correctly, is home to vineyards and museums and great historical sites and another great walking city. Um, you'll go to the Bizelle Le Chateau in France. And again, these are great castles with gardens and just walking around and, and just taking it all in is just one of my motherships. The, um, you're going to see fields of poppy and lavender. And if you go in August, you'll see fields of sunflower. So again, beautiful gardens and flowers. Um, and again, the Royal Monastery. And this was built in the 16th century. And if you can look at the intricacies in this, the, um, the roof of the, um, the church, it's all Armenian hand done tile. And that's something somewhat of a lost art and it's all white stone. And again, these are just some of the, the most exciting spots that I've ever seen. And, and again, you're gonna see all kinds of beautiful fields. And Jamie had mentioned Arl. And Arl is famous for its yellow stone buildings that look like gold sparkling and it's beautiful flowers, but it's also famous for its mini Coliseum. You can also see the amphitheater. We park right in downtown Arles and it's easy on, easy off the ship. I remember walking up this hill and Jamie mentioned shopping. So you pass by the, the Coliseum and there's all these great little shops. We bought lavender sachets and paintings and we bought all kinds of hand tatted lace. Then we went up the hill a little bit further and saw all kinds of castles. So again, this has just got everything on this itinerary. This and then it does. And I just want to, I mean, I'm not a shopper when I, you know, when I travel, I always try to find one thing that's really unique to the itinerary. Um, and I have, I mean, specifically from Arl, I got these wonderful placemats, these cloth placemats that are on my kitchen table, like at least one season a year. I mean, they're my favorites. And every single time I sit there and have dinner, I just think about that. And then I crack open a bottle of wine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I, and I bought, little lavender, I bought lavender sachets for everyone, but my girlfriend got the placemats. But again, everybody has different things and, and it's just all so wonderful. And then this has a optional end tour in Barcelona. And Barcelona, again, is just a great city. There's so many fun things to do. Las Ramblas is the main street in Barcelona where everything happens on Las Ramblas from all kinds of shopping to jugglers to mimes and fun things. But then you go to see the Sagrada Familia, which is a church that took hundreds of years to build. And I don't think it's completely done yet, but 
I, again, great sites and, and a great way to end a cruise. But again, because your agents are so talented, you don't have to do the pre or post. We can do customized things because you have such a great team that, that's so well versed. Thank you. Thank you. I know, and I mean that honestly. But besides that, we're going to go over some other options that you, people can book with World Away Travel. And again, Christmas markets are great. They're usually around um, Advent schedules, and it's around our Thanksgiving to Christmas Eve. You walk around and you drink this hot wine called Glue Vine. It's got all kinds of spices. It's a mulled wine. But here, I buy Christmas ornaments for my grandchildren at all the little shops. My husband's a foodie, so he grabs all different kinds of foods at the different places. There's anything from rides to ice skating. With this, we have a thousand dollars off a person. We have an upgrade and an onboard credit, and the offer I'm going to make at the end is combinable with this, and it's also combinable with all your signature benefits. So something to think about if somebody's thinking about Christmas markets, something if someone's looking for a little bit more exotic, we have Vietnam, which you'll start in Hanoi, go to Ha Long Bay. Um, you're looking at Angkor Wat, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The ship is seven nights between Vietnam and Cambodia and you end in um, Saigon or you do the reverse. Again, this ship has got hardwood floors, crown molding, pool, fitness center, and just beautiful if somebody wants to speak with you and your team on something more exotic. Now, Tulip Time is the last week of March to the first week of May. It's round trip Amsterdam. We'll take you to Kuchenhof Gardens and Kinderdijk for the windmills. You never know when those tulips are going to bloom. So there's fields of tulips, there's tents, and we're going to let you know which tulips you can bring home that you can grow right in your own backyard or front yard. You'll visit Antwerp and Ghent. Now, the Rhine, as you mentioned, the wow factor on the Rhine is the Rhine Gorge. You're gonna see over 30 castles. Our cruise manager is gonna narrate. We're gonna give you a sheet of paper to know which castles you're seeing. But whether you're going north or south and you're on, when you're on our ships, we uh, bring out silver platters of Rudesheim coffee. And Rudesheim is this little town that's famous for coffee with brandy, chocolate and whipped cream and they set it on fire. And we have furry blankets, so you, if it's cold and you sit down and you watch the castles go by. You're looking at the Cologne Cathedral that took over 600 years to build. Do you know what my favorite thing is on this itinerary? We do a tour that takes you to taste Kolsch beer and potato pancakes. And Kolsch beer is only made in Cologne and it's served in little shot glasses so it never gets warm. And I don't go for the beer, I go for the potato pancakes. But this also has the Heidelberg Castle on it, which is remarkably intact. Strasbourg, France will take you to um, Requeer, which was the inspiration for Beauty and the Beast. The Danube, um, and again, great choices. We do Budapest to Vilshofen, Germany, or Budapest to Nuremberg. The itineraries mirror each other in Budapest and Vienna. And if you wanna do the Sound of Music tour, we take you to Salzburg. The primary difference is in Vilshofen, that's our home port. That's where we christen our ships. And in Vilshofen, we have our own Oktoberfest tent. So if you go the last week of March, all the way to New Year's, we roll out the kegs, bring in the dancers, the pretzels, and we have a full-blown Oktoberfest party. And again, that's just Alma that does that. Then we have um, the other itinerary does Nuremberg, where you do a reenactment of the Nuremberg trials, uh, or we'll take, and we also take you to Regensburg, which was the only city in Germany that's a medieval city that was not bombed in World War II. So again, great comparisons and great conversations with the World Away team. Lower Danube is Budapest to Georgiou, where you're going to see Dracula's castle, the Iron Gates, the Kissing Rocks, and we can do a pre or post in Istanbul. Now, Rhone, as we talked about before, is my favorite itinerary. We spoke about that um, with Jamie's itinerary. We do the Rhone and the Sone um, with Jamie's group for September 2022. And we also do just the Rhone. Now, the Seine is round trip Paris. Keep in mind, we are the only river cruise company that parks all of our sailings in downtown Paris. We're going to take you to Givernay. We're going to see um, the inspiration for many of Monet's paintings, the Normandy landing beaches, Lace Angelis, which is home to Chateau Guillard, which was King Richard the Lionheart's castle. 
um, Bordeaux for the wine lovers is wine, wine, and more wine. And then we throw in some wine. Um, you'll go to vineyards in the morning and the afternoon and do wine tastings. But we got some folks that wanted us to do some more historic components. So for 2021, we're going to add some choices in on the tours that'll take you to more historic places. My girlfriends and I did this for our 60th birthday two years ago. We had a ball. This is a great girlfriend's getaway cruise. Now. And I had a single, uh, a single woman who did that and had a, had a phenomenal time. Loved it. And if anybody does want to go for a single, the way we set things up is Amma shares the love and people that are alone don't stay alone for very long. Everybody's so welcomed that, that it's just a, a, just a really gregarious atmosphere on the ships. Mm -hmm. Now, Portugal is our second most popular itinerary. It sells out like crazy. And you just meander down the river and you see the grapes on the terraced hills, just spectacular. You start in Porto, there's all kinds of shops and caves and there's paintings made out of um, white tile and blue and they make out all these mosaics throughout the city. Uh, you'll go to Salmanaca where Columbus went to college and you'll visit the Matus castle. So again, great itineraries, but Africa is our most popular. and with Africa, how we do it is we give you many choices. All the itineraries start in Cape Town at the Cape Grace Hotel. You will take you to Robin Island. You can walk in the steps of Mandela. We'll take you up to Table Mountain um, in the cable cars. You'll do uh, four nights on the Zambezi Queen. You'll do game drives in the morning and the afternoon from the ship on the Chobe River. Two nights in Victoria Falls, staying at the Victoria Falls Hotel. Option one, you go home. Option two, you do Rovos Rail, which is like the Orient Express of Africa. You watch the trains go by or watch the scenery go by from a train built in 1900. Or the other itineraries, we throw in Johannesburg for two nights where you'll stay at a luxury resort. Um, and then again, tours in Johannesburg. Then Stars of South Africa, we'll throw in three nights in Kruger Park. You'll stay at Tin Swallow and you'll do three nights of a mini safari. Then the other one is seven nights in a tent, or you can mix and match everything. And it's just a simple call to whirl away that they can customize this for you. Ship has 14 cabins and 28 people, and the smallest cabin is 215 square feet. Now we do do wine cruises for the wine lovers. And with those, we bring wine hosts over from the US they do three presentations on board and you taste four wines in each presentation. They're real gregarious, real fun, no extra charge. And for wine lovers or not wine lovers, it's just a really good experience to add to your cruise. Now, I mentioned earlier, we have a ship called the Ama Magna. She is a little bit different than the rest of the ships in the world. Every other ship is 38 feet wide. She's 72 feet wide. She has four restaurants, five bars, only holds 196 people, even as a movie theater. Smallest cabin, or the average cabin is 355 square feet. The smallest cabin is 210 square feet. She has a giant pool with a whirlpool. This is the medium-sized cabin at 355 square feet. Jamie, do you know it had six closets? I what? could not believe it. Six closets. My coat had its own closet. Oh, geez. <laughs> I know. That bed spread or turns out into bedding for two if somebody wants. The beds separate with plenty of room around them, balcony, flat screen at the end of the bed, and two sinks in, in the, mar in the um, bathroom, multi-jet shower, private water closet, and then another flat screen in the living room area. So unbelievable ship. It's only on the Danube and it has a golf option. Now, this is our ship in Africa, or in, in, in Egypt, I'm sorry, Africa is Egypt. Egypt is in Africa, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, ship's under construction. She has 34 cabins and holds 68 people. It is absolutely gorgeous. And again, we'll have our chef's table and all the things we're known for. What we're doing is three nights in Cairo, staying at the Four Seasons. You'll go to the museum. Um, the new museum should be open by the time we start sailing. Then we're going to do the Sphinx, the pyramids. Then you'll fly down to Luxor, do seven nights on the Amidalia, round trip Luxor, one night back in Cairo, 
We're allowing people to book in advance if they want to purchase a side tour to um, Abu Simbel. That is my bucket list item. I would do that in a heartbeat. But we're also doing a pre-night, four nights in Jordan where you can see Petra. Wow. Or we're doing in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So they have a choice and they can do Israel at the end. So again, lots of play with this and a lot of neat things you can do. We're going to do, like I said, round trip Luxor. Uh, you'll visit the Temple of Luxor, the Valley of the Kings and Queens, the Temple of Hors in Edfu in Aswam. Um, you visit a Nubian village. You can do Falaka rides. You'll do Esna um, with the Karnak Temple. Kina, you'll see the Temple of Hathor back to Luxor. So again, beautiful itinerary and just great ship. But no matter what, you got to address something. I mentioned earlier, we're sailing. We started sailing July 5th and have been doing so successfully since. So what we have to do to sail is to uh, comply with all the EU rules. That's the European Union. So since we've been sailing, we're sailing with masks. We are socially distancing. Our tours usually have 20 people on them. We've gone down to six. We do temperature checks, they're no touch. We require people to fill out two different um, applications that they're healthy prior to arrival. Our crew is constantly checked and they can't be in any kind of a high risk area 21 days prior to departure. We have an, an, a person on board who is in charge of maintaining all the standards. We've gone up to hospital grade um, cleaning. We sanitize the lug luggage before it comes on board. But something I never knew, and I know your mother sailed on us quite a few times, and I bet you she doesn't know this either, but we have our own heating and air conditioning system in every single cabin and in every, every area. So we're constantly bringing fresh air in to the cabins and all the public area. There is no such thing as recycled air on our ships. Awesome. And after six years of working for AMA, I just found that out. But again, we, all of our, our ships, our cabins are exterior cabins, but with this fresh air constantly recirculating, it is a big factor. Yeah. Now, who's our guest? People that want the lap of luxury, but casual. People that want a five-star floating hotel. People that are fans of all-inclusive. People that want to travel with like-minded people. People that want to travel in a group like the group you're proposing. Um, my friends and I did our birthday. We can do art, gardening. The sky's the limit. Now, you mentioned the solo program, um, and we do aggressively pursue solo um, um, cl clients. The single people sit with the captain on the first night. We do 1.25 of the base fare. And I mentioned we're the highest rated luxury brand. Now I know I left the Berlitz Guide to River Cruising in your office. The new Berlitz Guide is in my garage. They came in March and I couldn't get them down to anyone. So as soon as I can get to Westchester and you know my heart is in Westchester <laughs> along with my grandchildren, um, I will bring you the new guide. But for anyone that's listening, the Berlitz Guide evaluated all 320 river cruise ships in Europe. It breaks down us and everybody else, and it helps you disseminate the information of what's best for you. We have 10 of the top 15 ships. And that was done before the Alma Magna came out last year. So I'm sure in the newest version, when they evaluate the Magna, she's going to be number one. But for now, we've got the Alma Christina as the number one ship in the world. So here we are welcoming everyone on board. So when you're with AMA, you become part of our family. And World Away is part of our AMA family. And we hope that you all want to join us and welcome and us welcome you aboard so that you can see our AMA love. Thank so you. now should we, should we tell them the big surprise of, of what we're offering? Yes, you should. Oh, okay. I mean, our charter is a big surprise, but you have an even bigger surprise um, for, you know, to hold everybody over until 2022 for our charter. So um, go ahead. Well, they don't have to wait to sail on us till 2022. They can sail in 2021 and 2022 because once they sail on us, they're going to love us. So for anybody that makes a booking with World Away Travel, and this is World Away only, we're offering $100 off 
per person if you make a booking with Worldway in the next two weeks. Now, there are four sailings. And again, you can't go anywhere else in Westchester, anywhere to get this, but Worldway Travel. It's at four sailings that are in 2021 that are buy one, get one free. Now, the extra $100 isn't applicable, but here they are. The Amadante, Paris and Normandy on July 1st. The Amamora on the Captivating Rhine on July 8th. The Amaserina on Rhine Castles and Swiss Alps July 31st. And the Amabella on the Romantic Danube August 15th. So they are all buy one, get one free, true sale. And again, if you go down the street and look for a price, they are not going to have this. It's only available at World Away. That is crazy. Like I'm That's just planning crazy. for 2021 summer now. Thank you, Kathy. We so appreciate your partnership. Um, it's it's amazing. And I, I have one I have one last note, and, and you may have some more to say. But um, you know, during during this, I was chatting with one of our wonderful clients that River Cruised, and they were actually featured in those pictures. And I just asked her. I said, "What did you love about River Cruising?" And she said her, hers was um, submerging in other cultures, the food, the family with us and seeing so much without packing and unpacking. So thank you, Karen, for sharing that. Um, I, I know, I believe Linda's on and I, I think maybe Cindy's on too, um, but what a fun group of, it was five couples that traveled together and you know they, they had a ball and I, I know that they're gonna want a river cruise again. Um, Kathy, let me just ask really quickly, the buy one, get one for that wonderful promotion. Um, and that is, they can book the month of October, correct? Correct, that has to be under deposit by October 31st. Remember, it's capacity controlled. So if it sells out, it's gone. Okay. And, um, the suites are not available on that or the D&E category. Okay. But again, it's all based on availability. Something I have to tell you, though, the Amabella is under construction right now. That's one of our older twin balcony ships. And when she comes out um, next in, in the spring, she is been gutted and refurbished and she's like a brand new ship. So that pretty much is, that's going to have one of our new show kitchens in it. And so CBs, CBs and A's are included, correct? Correct. Okay. And they're my favorite cabins building. anyway. They're, they're, they're not on the bottom duck view. They're like, you know, in the middle, middle and the, and the top deck and they're perfect space. They're the twin, um, the, the regular cabins that we that we love to recommend to our clients. So that is such an amazing, amazing offer. Thank you so much. Um, oh, no, I'm happy to be able to do it. I was very excited when I saw this list of summer sailings too. Yes. Um, so this is this is awesome. And that's one couple that that pays and it's, you know, they book a cabin and one person pays and the other person goes free, correct? That's absolutely okay. correct. What is better than buy one, get one free? Yep. Absolutely amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm you. happy to be able to do it. Now, anything else, we'll get that $100 off for the next two weeks. And like I said, we can't do an extra 100 on those four because it's already so heavily discounted. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's way more than $100 off. So that's incredible. Thank you. Thank now, you. no other questions. I usually get asked, what do the gentlemen wear? Well, leave your sport coats and your ties at home and your feather boas. Um, we are the lap of luxury, but casual. So you can, and you can see um, people in shorts. That's our chief, our, our, our chief financial officer in his shorts on the front of the picture. Um, so actually we're lap of luxury, but very casual. So you don't have to get dressed up. And, you know, I'll share that my, my dad loved Ama. And when he sailed with my mom um, quite a few years ago, he had the opportunity to meet Rudy. And Rudy and him are a lot alike, um, just in terms of personality and demeanor. But when I saw, when I met Rudy, when I sailed with Ama, and I was on the Ama Christina um, a couple of years ago, it, he reminded me of my dad just in, in the way that he dressed. And he's very, you know, polished but casual and so I, you never it was never stuffy it's a very unstuffy experience um and and you know the, the excursions were wonderful we had, we had such a good time so you know i i definitely stand by ama and and we we love working with you so thank you very much thank you 
Um, if anybody has any, any other questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us uh, directly. Um, we will, we've recorded this. So if you wanna go back and share it with any of your friends, or if you have anybody that you think would like to sail together, let us know. Um, there's also, you know, the opportunity to share, to, to sail as a group. Um, and there's some benefits to that. Uh, so please, you know, great way to just get together. And now that we're all slowly, hopefully coming out of quarantine, I think that spending time together with our loved ones and our friends and our family is going to be really important and really valuable. And what a better way to do it than river cruising. Unpack once, see the world. Um, it's, it's wonderful. So thank you very much, Kathy. No, thank you for having me. And thank you for welcoming into your homes. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye. Nice.